Now the third piece is something that's near and dear to my heart. It's to find the fun in learning. Um, so one of the major beefs that I have with educational systems all over the world is that they've transformed learning from something that should be extremely pleasurable and fun into something that's more of a task and a chore. This is a huge shame because if you think about it, some of the best and most uh, hard games out there are also the most fun. And I want to talk about the psychology of this a little bit. The reason that they're the most fun and also the most difficult is that they have good design and the difficulty level is tuned to be just at the edge of your ability. And that's when humans learn best and fastest. So there are two psychological concepts here called flow and fear, and I just want to talk about these two really quick. So flow is uh, uh, the state of being in the zone, of being pushed to the edge of your ability. Many of you have probably experienced flow, and it's one of the most productive and pleasurable states that, that your own brain can be in. Now there's a separate but related psychological concept called fear, which is the intense emotion of conquering an obstacle, of triumphing over adversity. Right, so these are two of the powerful psychological uh, contributors in having fun through learning. So games and making fun out of learning is an extremely vital part. Uh, I had a French tutor when I was younger named Erica, and I still remember fondly the times when she would make up games around the French language for us to learn. Yeah, so this is how I learned myself and how I really discovered the fun of learning and allowed me to stay motivated and really accelerated my own education. Now, Peace Four Years cut off, but it's all about entrepreneurial education. So entrepreneurship is so like if I so like if I say the word entrepreneurship, you probably are thinking about startups. But the point I want to make is that entrepreneurship is a more general term. It's actually a state of mind about taking risks and being creative and innovative. Um, so, let me talk really quick about why creativity is important. If you think about learning and creativity, they're very interrelated concepts. So, learning at its optimal state is actually a highly creative process where you are pretty much making new associations between novel concepts that you discover. At the same time, you're pushing the boundaries of what you know. And it's related to something else that's at the heart of entrepreneurship, which is taking risks. Now, why is taking risk important? There is a tendency uh, in cultures all over the world, especially outside of Silicon Valley, to do the same thing and to pursue a career and to get a job that's going to make steady money, but it's perhaps not very exciting. Right. My intention is that taking risks is one of the most important things that a human can do. This is the way that we're going to make uh, that we're going to make technological progress as a race, and the only way that we're going to creatively come up with amazing new ideas and technologies and drive ourselves forward.
Right, so this is how you apply to an entrepreneurship, not just to education, but to the rest of your life. And I want more people to be thinking about big ideas, thinking about um, how do we explore the deepest depths of the ocean, how do we go to Mars. These are the types of problems that we should be working on. Uh, so, I want to close by talking about the fact that I know that the only reason that my story was possible was a very improbable confluence of factors. It definitely probably wouldn't have been possible in, uh, if I didn't have my parents and if I didn't have the environment in which I grew up. And I would probably say that I don't think my story could have been possible in the current Taiwanese educational climate. I think what we need to do, actually, is to combine the best parts of Eastern and Western educational culture and embrace that sort of openness when we look at the future of learning and knowledge. So, uh, I want to close by saying that for the principles that I have described in this talk, learning, uh, having more fun, being more creative, and being more entrepreneurial, I think if everybody watching this talk, both online and in person, can really incorporate those things into their own education, then we'll all be better off. This is how we drive ourselves forward as a species, and let's all go out and do it. Thank you very much.